why? Why am I liking it? Okay, now don't move. Welcome to my channel. Tomorrow we fly to Florida for the 15th time this month, just for 11 hours. Why am I like this? I don't know. 24 hours later. Hi, and welcome back to Adventures of Me. I'm guessing you're wondering why I'm sitting in my living room in my apartment and not in Florida. Because I just like to give Frontier my money, apparently. I'm just like, sure I'll book three flights to Florida for the day and not go on any of them. This is why I will never do a day trip to Disney. I, well, I won't see like, yeah, okay. I won't ever do a solo day trip to Disney ever again. It's just too much. Disclaimer, I would go if I had a crazy friend that was like, hey, I'm bored. Let's go to Disney for the day. I'd be like, yeah, let's do that. Let's, abs let's, abs let's absolutely do that. I'm in. It doesn't take much to like persuade me to do anything crazy. But willingly by myself, we're done. We're done no more day trips and by day trip i mean i fly in on a 5 30 a.m flight or a 6 20 a.m flight go right to the park play 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 all day and then boom come home on a 10 30 a 6 30 and 8 30 whatever 30 flight that there is and then die when you get home from exhaustion it's just not the life for me anymore i'm too old Dude, i don't know if i want to wear this shirt i feel like i've got like guns blazing like what would you wear? You've that one. Pause. Is this better? No. It looks this, well, I just don't look like I'm wearing a turtleneck, which I guess is better. But my spray tan is so jacked up that it's like, are you okay? Did someone do that? Did you pay to have that done? Nope, I did it to myself for free. Thanks. All right, today we're gonna talk about how I will never, ever, ever fly to Disney again for the day, ever. Again. This is why, for real, for real why. It's exhausting. Like, it literally is so exhausting, which you're prepared for. You know, like, if you're flying down for the day, you've been before. It's just exhausting. There's no, like, sanctuary. There's no hotel. There's nowhere to stop and sit for two hours. If you do, people are like, well, you're gonna order and you're gonna eat food the whole time? No, I'm not. I'm just gonna sit here, Linda. I'm gonna sit here and eat my Dole Whip and watch these crazy people go by, all right? It's way more fun when you have a hotel and an air conditioner or a pool. A lot of fun when you don't have any of that. It's not fun at all. Like, I don't wanna sit on this park bench. I wanna sit by the pool. You really should have wrote down your thoughts because you're all over the place, honey. You are making no sense. You needed like an outline, perhaps? Like a little, like just a little outline. Like. What are your thoughts? What are you gonna say? A note card? You're just winging it. How you're winging your life. You're just winging this video. That's okay. I was supposed to fly to Orlando this morning to do the annual pass holder ride. Morning time, I was supposed to fly in super early. I had to leave my house by 4 a.m. I have TSA pre-check. I was just gonna burn my purse. Just go, hop on the plane, fly down. It was supposed to be 95 degrees down there. Red flag number one. Yeah, that's hot. That's like real hot. Especially it's hot if you don't have a hotel. If you don't have a sanctuary, there's nowhere, there's no home base for you. It's just go play in the park. Where am I, what am I supposed to do? I really don't want to eat anywhere. Like I just want a Dole Whip. I was going to try and just like bring a bathing suit and try to get into someone's random hotel, but that's too much room for error. Too much room. Red flag number two. Then I'm not even that excited to go on this ride. I had a bag packed. It wasn't until yesterday, like 4 p.m. I was like, I don't think I should be doing this. I don't think I should be doing this at all. I'm going to be exhausted when I get home. I'm going to be exhausted the next three days of work. Also, I'm flying down on Sunday for two days, which I can do that. That's way more my speed. I have a hotel. I have a home base. I have a pool for me to sit in. I like that. I like that a lot. So if you don't have a pool, there's no home pool for you, what are we doing? What are we doing when it's 95 degrees in Florida? Crying? Are we crying on a park bench? Because that sounds horrible. So dramatic, I know. I wasn't gonna pack ears either. What's Disney without ears? <sighs> so that's why I'm never doing it. It's just too much, don't do it. If you have, see that's the thing. If I, like, say I was a stay at home work mom, 
great, then I'm off the next day. If I'm off the next day, I'll get a hotel room. Why would I just go down for the day? When I can stay down there for three days, why would you do that? But I'm not, like I work in a salon, so I'm, I'm busy. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, when I come back, I'm fully booked on Thursday, I am fully booked on Friday, and I'm uh, like 75% booked on Saturday. So. I'm gonna feel like a Mack truck hit me. Why would I, why? Well, for just to go back down in three days, it's just too much. Yeah, three day, two day, two day minimum, even two days, like a little bit. There's no need to go wilderness explorer and go to every single park like I just did. 30,000 steps should not be <laughs> what you're doing when you're there for an adventure. I understand like, no, I don't understand. If you are, just, don't do it, just don't do it. Do it if you are literally off the very next day, but like I said, just get a hotel room. If you're gonna do that, get a hotel room. And I will say, MCO, which is Orlando Airport, their afternoon, evening flights, I swear, especially with Frontier, their like on time rate is like a solid 40%. So I'm constantly checking like, the flights that I would be taking and they are delayed all the time. There's a chance that if say my flight's at 10.30 at night, I might not get home until 4 a.m. Who could sleep on a plane? Not me, not me. And I just do the choose your own adventure seat. No, it's not a good time. I'll, I can do it for like a week long, two day long adventure, but a one day, I want the window seat. I need to see what's happening. I don't wanna be wedged between Frank and Franny. I don't want to. Oh, my space. Mm, 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 mm. The last time I flew on a, yeah, it was the, the one and only day trip I did, there was hardly anybody getting on the plane. Like it was maybe 60% filled, which they're usually max filled anymore. And I was between, wedged between a guy at the window seat and a girl on the end. Didn't know each other. None of us knew each other. The guy apparently was flying with a bunch of his friends. Okay, a lot of friends. So the flight attendant comes up to him and goes, do you wanna go sit with your friends? Nah, I'm good. Yeah. What do you mean you're good? Go sit with your friends. I don't want to sit with you. Why? Just go with your friends. Why are you? Why? Just go with your friends. Why would you not go sit with your friends, sir? So he stayed. He stayed. And don't be like, oh, that's because you're cute. No. It was after a 15 an hour adventure in Disney. I was not cute. I didn't look cute at all. So don't use that as his excuse. He was just being stupid, I guess. <laughs> This is gonna be like a 20 minute long just rant about me not liking the airport and having to deal with Frontier. That's what this video is gonna be about. Do you think I wanna wear clothes in this? I have to be aware that I don't look chunky. Chin out and down, but back up and up. I don't know what I would wear. Tough life. It's tough life being 38 and thinking you are mentally 21. You know how like, well maybe you don't know, maybe you are 21, it takes you three seconds to recover if you drink alcohol, but it takes me days. Days, not like a sip of alcohol, I'm talking like a full blown adventure. Days to recover. It takes me days to recover from going to Disney or vacation. Like I need a vacation from my vacation anymore. And a lot of you will relate to that. I understand that. Especially Disney. Do you have any idea how many steps you were doing? A lot. The answer is a lot. The answer is a whole hell of a lot. Especially if you were going down for the day. Girl. What? It's just a lot. And I'm, I'm tired. I'm very whiny. Choo choo choo. Make a wish. Actually, it's not make a wish. It's what are your angels trying to tell you? Mine are probably telling me to calm down. Between Mercury and retrograde, it was Friday the 13th. I got my period. No, I was getting it. I got it Monday. I'm a Gemini, so I'm already cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs to start with. And then it was a full moon. <laughs> Good luck, anybody dealing with me. Good luck to you. My poor man friend, I was like, I hate you. I don't wanna do this anymore. I don't like you anymore. I'm not doing it. He was like, okay. I'm like, sorry, I'm a little, my bad, I'm better now. <laughs> I think I need like a bullet point. Like this is what you say. A, one, it's exhausting. If you would like to be exhausted, go for it. Be my guest, be exhausted. Two, I think that's it. I think it's, I think that's the only reason. There's no other reason. Like none. Oh man, so you made a whole video telling people you are tired? 
That's cool. <laughs> I didn't go on a vacation because I was tired. I did have another, a second bullet. No pool, no sanctuary, nothing. Nothing, you have nothing, you have a park bench. That is it. You have a possible restaurant, so there's no home. So tiring, no sanctuary, and no friends. I need to make friends in Orlando. No one wants to be, I'm like, I'm cool. Like the weight loss people, y'all are my people. You get me? Like all the influencers that, like we're all friends. We're all cool. Oh, okay. Disney influence, they don't want to be my friend. They don't want to be my friend. Sorry. I don't wanna be your friend either. Please be my friend. One of, I went through a little phase there where I booked about seven trips at once. And then a few of those trips I turned into overnight trips because I was like, no. But the main reason why I booked this current trip was because I have the annual pass preview. And my coworkers, two of them, which one is actually who you've seen in my Myrtle Beach vlog and my Hershey vlog that's coming up. Like she's my friend, my good friend, who's my, she's also my manager. She encourages me doing stupid, crazy stuff. Like even this morning, she's like, I can't believe you didn't go. You would have had to deal with me being a whiny jerk for three days straight. She's like, that's okay. I'm used to you. Then I have my work wife, Tanya, who she co-signs all my craziness. She's like, yeah, go nuts. You were fine. She's the one that told me to book the trip. She's like, just go, who cares? It's just a day trip, just do it. You do it, it's really tiring. I just came back from one, I am tired. I'm tired. <laughs> am I tired? <laughs> I'm not that tired. It's just tiring when you come back, that's when it's tiring. But I'm not currently super tired. Currently I feel fine. I actually feel great, like it's really nice outside. It's a good thing I'm bundled up like Bundles McGee over here. I sh that should be like enough. If you can figure it out, it's tiring. <laughs> Let's talk about this. MCO Airport, which is Orlando Airport. So from now on, I'm gonna call it MCO. You should just know what it is. MCO Airport, it tricks you. It tricks you. You fly in and you're like, wow. You get a ride, this monorail to get your bag. It is, it's wonderful. Their baggage claim has a Starbucks in it. Do you understand how much that makes my soul happy? You know why? Philadelphia airport, you know what we have? A vending machine with snacky snacks and possibly a juice box. What am I supposed to do with that? I don't want that. I don't want this crap. And then we got like homeless people like right outside the door. Like it's just, Philly's got its little charm about it, okay? So MCO, it's like, wow, this airport's wonderful. There's a, a ride and snacks and you get this and wow. MCO, when you leave, it is the worst. If you do not have TSA pre-check, your line will be. 20 minutes is like, wow, why is it so slow? It could be up to like an hour and a half to get through this line. Even pre-check, PS, pre-check closes at 8 p.m. at MCO. Learn that the hard way, okay? Uh, I had to wait in an hour long line. I almost missed, I didn't miss my flight, but mentally I was like, <gasps> I'm gonna miss my flight. Okay, so then once you get through it and you take your little ride, shuttle, back to where the gate is, there's nothing there. It's like the worst, like, their terminals are the worst. There's like Hudson News, which is like magazines and snacks, every airport has it. But then it's like on the border and like Wendy's and the lines are through the roof and it's just like yuck. Like there's nothing there. So you're like, I was totally bamboozled. Philly airport at least has like, we have chicken and peats at like every single terminal cause we love chicken and peats. Then terminal F or whatever terminal E, one of them, the last one that the little planes fly out of, they have a Philly pretzel factory. They have a Tony Luke's. We have like, a, I'm sorry, I won't be mean to you anymore, Philly. Like just because your baggage claim sucks and you don't have a Starbucks, you have other stuff ever. Like MCO, do better. I need you to do better. It's pure trickery. It's the worst airport. They're like, make sure you leave five hours early. You get through security in like an hour and you're like, now what? I'm supposed to eat these crusty <laughs> chips? Ugh, trickery. I'm, t I'm telling you, it's a giant trick, okay? And then the flight home's like three hours because you're sitting on that freaking runway. Cause they're like, sorry, we have to let 400 planes go before you because we're the worst airport ever. Like I love it when I fly, I'm like, yay, best airport ever. And then when I leave, I'm like, I hate this place. This place is the worst. No one wants your dirty <laughs> Wendy's. I am queen of not filming outros. Uh, is that a thing? Is that a word, an outro? I think it's a thing. I think it's a word. We're gonna go with it.
If not, I'm making it a word. Filming my outro. So yeah, that is why I will never do a day trip in Disney ever again. So this wasn't bad either. I think, you know what it is? I'm not used to sitting. I'm used to standing all day. So when I, my hair looks good. I wonder, I shut my blind, so I wonder if I, <laughs> oh, come on. Were you like this the whole time? Oh God, I hope not. Well, you just f everything now, didn't you?